Hi, Lyle. You all right? Can I help? Oh. That went well. Uh, where are you going? Your next date is at your table. Yeah, I know. I have to go. Someone better be dying, Christine. No one is dying. We talked about this. I know. I have to go. Not again, please. I'm not making a scene. I just have to go. Christine. Do you know why people come here? Do you know why hardworking people pay what they pay me for my services? Because it's drama free. They can come in, they can meet beautiful people. Beautiful inside and out. Beautiful people handpicked by me. I have the eye of a hawk to pick people that are worthy. Every now and then someone, someone falls through the cracks. I didn't expect that person to be you. I wanted to think the last time was an exception. So after you begged me, you begged me, Christine, I took you back. Turn around, sit back down, and make me feel like I did the right thing. There are only a couple more men, Christine. Don't ruin me my show, or you will die a bitter spinster. I will make it so. What was that about? Is it my breath? Or my deodorant? Do I smell? I'm sorry, mm. I'm done here. I'm just, I don't mean to be rude, I'm just tired. It's not you, I just, I don't feel well and. <sighs> don't worry about it. You want me to leave you alone? No, I should leave. Do you know her? We grew up as neighbors. I met her here. Not today, once before. I didn't even know she did this. She seems to be good at it. <sighs> Expectation versus reality. Excuse me? Expectation versus reality. We think that something is gonna be a certain way and then when it shows up, warts and all, Things are different. Is that what happened for you here? And what's the problem? I've done this before. The first part's fun. It's the second half that's... The back nine. The hope that our life is gonna change starts to diminish. You're only just a little while from returning to your life. That life that brought you here, dreaming. So how do you like it? It's good. I came in with low expectations. Why? I was married and my wife died five years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the crap that happens to other people sometimes happens to you. It stuns you. You can recuperate, though, miraculously. So I've managed to stay a little looser. After that, I let things flow. Try not to cling on to expectations too much. So what was she like? What was her name? Monica. She was a great pain in the ass. <laughs> Says you. Yes, and she wouldn't have been so kind to me either. We were getting a divorce. Or, I don't know, so we thought. Time ran out. Before we could have our last great big blowout. Why were you getting a divorce? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> we quarreled all the time. 
You know, she accused me of being insensitive, self-centered. I accused her of being impossible to please, insatiable. Does that ring a bell? It's like any other couple, isn't it? It'll never be resolved. I've had my 1,000 argument with her all by myself, playing both sides. She wins all the time. Enough about me. Do you do this with all your dates? You talk about your wife? No. Well, you should. It could get you laid. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Well, um, I am getting my MA in education. I have a roommate. Uh, I love Frank Sinatra, and my parents own a diner and a dry cleaning store. Did you guys have kids? Yes, we have a daughter. She's 18. Oh, wow, you married young. Yeah. That was a mistake. Well, we thought it was a good idea at the time. You know, this is all going to end soon, and you still haven't really told me anything about yourself. I'm a girl, just like all the other girls. A girl, not a woman? I don't know. I see myself as a girl. What would make you a woman? Oh, please. I don't know, it's like being rich, I guess. You're never rich enough. Would children do it? Ah. Uh. It's nice meeting you, mystery girl.